Hi guys, so we have to feel sorry for the wee Scot Douglas Ross, the head of the Tories in Scotland. He's had a difficult, if I can be so bold, a difficult relationship with Tory party HQ in London. He had originally called for Boris Johnson to resign over Partygate, probably because he honestly thought that the Prime Minister was for the chop, but miscalculated and then did a U-turn. Now he's back suggesting that the Prime Minister should go, but only after the Ukraine war is over. However, I will show you why this flip-flopping is taking place. Saying that when the war is over, he should go. Well, let's see where we are, but my position changed because I mean, of... Where well, you are today yes, is that he should go, my, and the only thing that's keeping him in place is the war in Ukraine. My position changed because of the war in Ukraine, and that is the only thing that changed it. But let's see if we can end that war. Uh, what you're saying is that the war in Ukraine is the only thing that reversed your position. Yes. Therefore, when the war is over, you will reverse it back, correct? That's what I've said. It was the situation. So that's correct. But that, it was the situation in Ukraine, and you, you interviewed me uh, at the time and have interviewed me since, and it has always been because of the situation in Ukraine. Do you insult the public when you don't give a clear answer to the question, when the war in Ukraine is over, do you think Boris Johnson should step down? Well, I think I have been clear, so, so let me say it again, James. You know, I changed my position because of the war in Ukraine. Therefore, if the war in Ukraine is over, then the Prime Minister uh, doesn't have uh, the same uh, support that he has at the moment. Should he step down, or do you, will you call for him to step down? Well, then I think he should step down. So, is that the third position Douglas Ross has had on the Boris Johnson resignation? I'm pretty sure it is. He's flip-flopping all over the place. First he said he should go, then he said, oh no, he should stay, and now he's saying when the uh, Ukraine war is over. He admits it could go on for a very, very long time. It could go on for years. Um, he will be, I suspect, ridiculed by his political opponents in Scotland. In fact, I think Nicola Sturgeon has already criticised him for changing his view on this. Um, and uh, there's just no consistency in Mr Ross's position here. Unlike his predecessor, Ruth Davidson, who this week said the Prime Minister has clearly lied to the House of Commons, he should go. Now, there's a big difference between Ruth Davidson and... Douglas Ross, Ruth Davidson is a member of the House of Lords, so whatever she says, there'll be zero impact on her. Douglas Ross, on the other hand, is the head of the Tories in, in Scotland, and he has to be a bit more careful because, well, this is why. <laughs> this is why he's flip-flopping. So he's the MP for Murray in the north of Scotland, as you can see here. But if we look at the last number of elections, so in 2015, uh, Angus Robertson won the seat with a majority of eight, uh, 9,000. Then in 2017, Douglas Ross won the seat with a majority of 4,159. But in 2019, Murray, uh, this Murray seat was won again by Douglas Ross, but with a majority of just 513. 513. So Douglas Ross is in a very difficult position. If he supports the Prime Minister, who's deeply unpopular in Scotland, he risks losing his seat. But then if he goes against the Prime Minister, he's going against the government. And this also feeds into, well, why should we vote for the Tories if you're, you know, if you're pointing out how the Tories are, are crap? <laughs> um, so it's a very difficult position for Douglas Ross. He's uh, He has a... a razor thin majority or 513 if the SNP put forward a pretty popular figure they'll they'll win the seat and Douglas Ross is deeply unpopular in Scotland he's a member of the Scottish Assembly he has two jobs well three jobs actually he's also a linesman <laughs> if you believe it those in Scotland know that um, so he's an MP he's a member of the Scottish Parliament and he's a linesman and he's not very popular as leader. He has been criticised by Jacob Rees-Mogg, even. He's, he's not very popular in Westminster because he's trying to, I think, you know, draw out some... He's trying to create his own power base within Scotland, but this has failed. He, he won his seat with a pretty, pretty good majority in 2017. That has been whittled away in 2019. Especially 2019, when Boris Johnson won a massive majority, when Boris Johnson won on Get Brexit Done, it shows that the Tories in 2019 are not popular in Scotland. And the next election, just around the corner, it's likely that Douglas Ross will lose his seat. It's not guaranteed, but it's pretty likely that he will lose his seat. And 
this flip-flopping is, a t is an attempt, I think, to try and hold on to something. Criticize Boris Johnson, maybe that will help me. Defend Boris Johnson, maybe that will help me. Try everything and hope something will stick. Uh, but it just makes him look like an idiot. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think about all of this? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.